this looks a little different. channel my name is Noah and today we're gonna take a look at the difference between the old zebras and the 2020 zebras you guys ready let's go Noah, are there really differences between the old zebras and the new zebras I mean there are differences but they are very very minimal all right before we start which one do you guys think is the new zebra and which one do you think is the old zebra these are both size 11 this is the old zebra then you are correct and this one is the new zebra now at first glance they seem pretty similar right I mean technically they are but the main difference from the old zebra between the new zebra is that print on the supply 350 if you can see in the old zebra the print of the supply 350 is more saturated more bold and more uh, defined now if you take a look at the 2020 zebras, the print is not as saturated, not as red as the old ones, and the lettering is more fine than the old ones. Here you go again, these are the old zebras and this is the new zebra. Now you can clearly see the difference with the L's on the Supply 350. As you can see, the horizontal line on the L is much more longer on the old zebras than the new zebras. You can say the same thing on the zebra print. As you can see, the old zebras have that thicker black stripe while the new zebras have a finer stripe than the old ones. Now other than that, there are no more noteworthy um, differences from the old zebras and the new zebras. Now the other thing I've noticed just now, I don't know if it's because I've worn my old pair, but the panel of the outsole to this back part right here is more glossier than the old ones. See, these are the new ones. You can see how they're glossy. And these are the old ones. It has that more matte finish. Now if you look at the tip of the shoe, you can see that the new ones have a more bluish tint to the outsole and the rubber casing compared to the old ones which has a more creamier uh, hue to it. So these are the new ones and these are the old ones. Still pretty similar, minor differences. So that's pretty much it. Um, there's nothing really more I can say about the difference between these shoes. It's very minimal. It's very minimal, but it is a crucial part in legit checking. Now, I am going to be selling this brand new pair of zebras, so if you're a size 11, hit me up. Now, the resale value of the zebras have dipped. Remember guys, this is a classic 350 V2 colorway. So, like the Wave Runners, no matter how many times they restock the shoe, hold on to them for a little while and the prices are gonna go back up now the zebras are still one of the top 350 v2 colorways so if you're thinking of keeping at least one 350 v2 i think the zebras are not a bad way to go that's gonna be it for this video guys make sure you smash that like button share this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell on so you wouldn't no. When I drop another video and follow your Instagram at Noah's Big Arc, where I post the latest sneaker news, sneaker releases, sneaker restocks, like some of my pictures to make me feel special and to cure my depression. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Noah's Big Arc and let me know what other videos you would like to.